What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here, you know what it is, bringing you another video today, Tis the Season, we are here to talk about some holiday Christmas horror films, and today I'm going to give you some recommendations, D different flavors, I'm going to give you some OG classic ones, I'm going to give you maybe a remake, I'm going to give you some newer type holiday films, some that are more kid friendly and some that are definitely not kid friendly so there's going to be a good variety of all kinds of movies in this video right here so i hope i can give you some cool options for christmas eve and christmas day this year so let's get into this video roll it <laughs> as I said in my intro, we're going to have a good variety of different films to talk about today. Right now, let's just start off with the OG, the granddaddy, the one that we all want to talk about all the time, and that's Black Christmas, Bob Clark's Black Christmas, an absolute freaking classic. And this for me, this is just, yeah, this is the OG for a reason. It set the template for a lot of slasher horror films after it. This is the magnum opus of holiday horror films. It's got a really good story, a really good cast, and it's a gripping ending like when you first see this film if no one spoils it for you that ending will grab you it'll reach out and grab you so like this film is just at all that and a bag of chips for real this is one that typically during this season I watch guaranteed I watch twice sometimes three times because I usually watch this during the Halloween time and then usually during the Christmas time I'm feeling I want to watch it again you know sometimes even before that during Thanksgiving I get the itch and I want to watch Black Christmas so like you know what I mean this film sometimes gets watched three times a year for me so you can tell I absolutely love this one. Next up for me we have a very underrated one one that I will always talk about because I don't feel like a lot of people talk about this one I know a lot of people have seen this one but not a lot of people talk about it and that's Christmas Evil starring Brandon Magritte and this is another one kind of in the same vein as Black Christmas a really good story a really good performance by our lead actor that is kind of akin to like Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. It's very much in the same vein as that kind of movie. So when you go in, expect that kind of movie. This is a very character-driven type study film, you know what I mean? It's not a straight-up slasher movie, but it's got some really good horror elements in it as well, some great holiday vibes. So yeah, Christmas Evil is one that no matter what, no matter how many times this season comes around, I will always always talk this film up because this is one that I think deserves more eyes. Next, let's talk up a remake or kind of a reimagining because this one is definitely more of a, like I said, a reimagining than the straight up remake of the film that it comes from. And this is Silent Night, which came out, I believe, in 2012. And this is a remake of Silent Night, Deadly Night. And this is so good. This is a film that takes the concept to a whole new level and actually adds like these really cool practical effects kills, like it's just really awesome and it takes place during a small town and their Christmas festival and a crazed Santa killer goes around killing people but he actually wears a mask and everything but it's not treated the same way as they do Billy in Silent Night Deadly Night. This is a very much a different version so that's why I like it is because when you watch these two it's not a copycat at all. It's a completely different flavor and Silent Night actually has Malcolm McDowell in it so come on at least having Malcolm McDowell in it that's at least going to give you a 7 out of 10. Come on. Next up we have a more recent one and this one I wanted to talk about because I watched this one last year and that's when it came out and I watched it twice. I watched it when it originally premiered on Shudder and then for Christmas Day I watched it me and my wife I showed her and that's Christmas Bloody Christmas and this is one that is just an absolute freaking blast I adore this film like this is one that like said uh, I'm saving for Christmas Eve this is going to be a very special event one this is probably going to be my you know tradition for Christmas Eve now is always watching Christmas Bloody Christmas because this one is just so much fun it's a low budget you know Joe Bago slasher film with a little bit of Terminator mixed in with a little bit of Christmas holiday horror you know some really fun flavorful characters that got some really cool colorful language that I don't mind at all in this film yeah like for real I eat this shit up no no pun intended like I eat this shit up this is a really good movie and like I said I watched it twice last year during this season and it's going to be a special watch for me this Christmas Eve where we're going to enjoy it probably after gifts after we do gifts and after we eat and everything then the movie that's going to send us off into the night before everybody lays down is going to be this movie right here because this is just one that like I said every time I return to it my love grows a little bit stronger for this movie now next up we have an anthology horror i wanted to bring one like I said an anthology one those are always fun similar to like vhs or something but this is a christmas 
horror story. And this is really cool because we have William Shatner in this one as a radio DJ who kind of bridges the stories together and everything. We have a Santa storyline. We have a Krampus storyline with, you know, awful children. We have a Changeling storyline. There's some really cool elements to this one for real and stuff that I really enjoy. Some cool little cameo cast members as well and stuff. And one like that, when you get to the third act, I didn't see it coming. Like when we got to the third act and we get to that ending shot in this film, I really didn't see it coming. So I thought this one was fantastic. Really blew, blew me out of the water. And probably in terms of Christmas anthologies, this is probably my favorite one. This is the one I love returning to. And then when I showed my daughter, she absolutely completely love this one too because there's a lot to really adore about this film because it has a whimsical story nature to it almost similar to like a Christmas Carol or something like that you know it's just has that story feel to it like you're sitting down reading a book by like an open fire with a hot cocoa that's like the kind of feeling you get when you watch this film and I really enjoy that. Now, next up, we're going to bring up another underrated one, and this will be the one that I'll send you off with. This is my ending one for the night. We're going to talk about P2, and I know that's kind of an interesting, weird title for a Christmas film, and that's probably why it doesn't get seen a lot, but P2 is one that I highly recommend. It is right up there with a lot of these films that we've been talking about today. It's really cool. It stars Wes Bentley in there, and I forget our lead actress's name, but she is fantastic in the movie as well. They do a really good job with this one because it's got a good Christmas soundtrack. It oozes Christmas atmosphere, and this is one that the practical effects and the gore are chef's kiss. There's some really gory moments in here. They're like few and far between kind of thing, but once they go there, they really go there. And like our final girl, she totally earns that title by the time we get to the end of this movie. So yeah, P2 is one that I highly recommend because that's another one like Christmas Evil. Not a lot of people talk about it, so I wanted to drop that one on this list. So thanks for sticking around with me all for Noren's horror recommendations for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, you know what I mean? I wanted to drop some cool movies, so there's a lot of different options and different flavors for you to go check out, so you have a lot of different stuff to choose from on those days, and especially me, I'm going to be excited and loving this day, because Christmas Eve and Christmas Day actually fall on days that I'm off this year, so I'm going to get a, like, you know, the dinner gift opening in and a lot of freaking movie watching pretty much and then also Christmas Day we got Christmas basketball so I'm just going to be chilling at the house pretty much and it's going to be really fun. I also wanted to give a shout out and thanks to everybody who sent me love and wishes and all their awesome comments for the post that I did on Facebook for Bishop. I recently actually did lose one of my best absolute best friends Bishop from you know he's our dog family dog He's the old boy, you know, like me. He was the old daddy in the house and stuff. And yeah, he did. Sadly, we lost him and everything to brain cancer and stuff. So it, it really did suck. But I wanted to, like I said, share, tell everybody out there, thank you for all the thoughts, all the kind words and everything that really got me through it. Because, yeah, that's kind of why I took a couple days off, too, and was kind of in a rut because I was just working didn't really want to be at work because I was really like sad and depressed and didn't really want to do anything for the channel because of the mood I was in. So now we're kind of brightening up the mood. You know, I want to bring you all back to the channel. Content is coming. Like I said, we still got to celebrate the holidays. So thanks for sticking around with me all for this video. Drop a like on the video. That greatly helps out. Share the video, you know, get more eyes on the video. That also helps out. And also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, happy holidays and have a safe and happy day. Peace out.